Andrea, I talked to a local State Farm agent and he says State Farm has declared a catastrophe for most of the Central Valley and a lot of other parts of the state, basically recognizing that images like this are very common right now. You can see a tree on a house there and even just right over at the next house over and this apartment complex, you can see the damage left there after that tree was removed. It sounded like a freight train running through the house. It was a big explosion. The roof caved in and windows shattered as a tree crashed through the living room of this Carmichael home. This is about a 150 foot pine tree that came down early Sunday morning and woke us up, needless to say. It was the first night back home for Scott Peters and Cindy Kaiser after a week away in Mexico. So here's the other side of the story. A startling wake up call after a relaxing vacation. The tree curves through the corner of the room. I was on this couch um, about an hour and a half before the tree came down. After getting over the shock of it all, it was time to take action. And it's quite a process going through all of this and everybody you have to get involved. From tree care businesses to insurance companies. New Year's all the way through. We haven't really had much of a break. Michael Yee says as of today, State Farm has about 160 auto claims and 1,200 homeowner claims just in the Sacramento area alone because of storm damage. I used to have a list of roofers and, and tree services that I could rely on, and most of them are saying, lose my phone number. I'm too busy right now. So, you know, I'm just encouraging my clients to, to go on to Google reviews, look at Yelp reviews, try and find reliable people. You know, make sure that these are folks who are licensed and insured. And reach out as quickly as you can. He says if your car was damaged, you'll need to make sure you have comprehensive coverage. While damage to your house from the wind is covered by most policies. Why we have power, I have no idea. That's our power lines right there. Once SMUD shuts off the power, then Peter says the cleanup here can begin as companies prioritize jobs in the face of widespread storm damage. Both the insurance company and the tree company said we're at the top of the list. So it's a, if there's a silver lining, it's that this is really bad. <laughs> Peter says they were just getting ready to remodel basically every other part of the house except the area that got smashed by that tree. So obviously this has changed their plans a bit and they are guessing that it could take at least six months before they get all that repair work taken care of. Live here in Sacramento, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. A long road ahead for yeah. them for sure. And a question for you, what about people dealing with flood damage? We know there are a lot of people out there in the similar situation. What do they need to know? Flooding is generally not covered under a standard homeowner's policy. That's going to be something uh, through a separate policy that would be through FEMA's uh, National Flood Insurance Program. So you want to make sure if you're in a flood-prone area, you've got coverage through that program. Okay, Lizay, thank you so much.